Hi, I'm David and this is Dennis. We're in the band Refused and you're watching Records in My Life. So much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. So tell us a bit about your record, um, any who you worked with, where you made it. Our record, this one that we just made. Your current uh, release. Oh, well, oh God. we uh, I'm starting to sweat just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we 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 did it ourselves. So David and Chris produced it, and uh, we recorded in just random studios around Sweden. Uh, with friends, no, basically. not random studios. Well, not random, very but, specific. But, no. Very specific, yeah. but small, <laughs> small studios in yeah. Sweden. We started out at, in this one spot in mm. uh, Gotland, off the coast of Sweden, where sure. Igmar Bergman famously lived. Um, and uh, because Matthias, our guitar player, had yeah. a young uh, daughter at that time, so we figured it'd be nice if he was close to home. But we started out there and recorded on tape, yeah. and then after that, it sort of spread out. So we did different things in different studios. Yeah, but it was very. Uh, the last record we did before that, we went to LA for six weeks and you oh, know, nice. worked with a, a, a pr American producer and so on and so forth. So I mean, it was a, a huge contrast to do do it ourselves, basically, mm -hmm. and and kind of take back that sort of control. And I think it's, it's also like a dialectical sort of reaction to you do something and then the next time, okay, okay so we did that and now we're gonna do it this way. So mm. who knows what the next next record would be like. So what's what's your favorite song off the new record or which one are you most proud of? The, for me, it's a, it's a song called uh, Turn the Cross, uh, which I think is the best piece of music that we've ever recorded. Or I sort of, I'm going so far as to say, I know it is. <laughs> um, but it's it's uh, it's an amazing piece that Chris wrote. Yeah, it's it's when you, it's also it's a, it's a favorite of mine. Malfire is my favorite song. I think it's the most fun to play live, and it's the it's a really great song. But I think that when you start writing new music. You need that key song to sort of guide you into the new creative process. And uh, Turn Across was one of the first songs written. So when, when I heard the demo for that song, I was like, all right, this is going to be great. So it's like, it was one of those songs that kind of guided us into, yeah, into the record, what the record became. Um, you've written a lot of political songs, and we live in, unfortunately, there's a lot of political turmoil, obviously, these days. What, what's a good record? A good record to, um, you know, protest record or to educate people on on politics. Right. Something that'll help. Something that will get people to stand up and change the system. Go out and vote. Make make a difference. Mm. I've been trying to make that record for my entire life. <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't. I mean, I think that uh, for me, it's been a different a couple of different records over the years. I mean. Discovering the Dead Kennedys was one of those bands that kind of got me into politics, and the way they approach politics is like, you know, humorous and kind of ironic, but also really smart. But then, I mean, I remember hearing Billy Bragg, Workers Play Time, and it was a record that really changed, like, how you how you write about politics, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I don't have like a record like that. I've been I've been looking for Robert Wyatt's old Rotten Hat on this tour hmm. on vinyl uh, and for me that's one of those records he's so conscientious and bright but the songs are so sensitive and beautiful but he's talking about this like really just like literally talking about like political like theory and like uh, paradoxes in the left's like how the left deals with certain issues and like all this like it's, it's really it's a enlightening and uh, it's a record that make me makes me kind of hopeful when I listen to it. What what's um, a record from your collection that you haven't heard live, which you would like to see? So is it is it gonna be like 
if because I you know obviously minor threat to, like to hear yeah. them live, but yeah. they broke up in like 1984. That's right. But it, is that a reasonable answer? Yes, that's a reasonable. Right. The, the self-titled like <laughs> the self it's, an, it's a great answer. Yeah, it is. No, but I mean, no, but it's a, it's a yeah, fantastic. I would answer. like to see Minor Threat live. Yeah, of course you would. In the eighties. And there was the self-titled album Minor Threat, right? Yeah. Wasn't that their classic with the, yeah. with the guy sitting on, with Ian, I guess it was Ian sitting on the steps? No, or, it's actually his the, brother. His, the brother. Alex, yeah, his brother, yeah. Alec. Uh, that, I mean, you know, like just growing up listening to those records. I mean, there's a lot of bands that growing up in the north of Sweden, you never got to see live, you know. But I mean, yeah. I would love to see when Bowie did his uh, low record. I would love to sure. see that live or... You know, there's there's plenty of records in the collection that you're like, wonder what that was like, that period and you know, period of time where that that space where something really amazing happened. Yeah. Duke Ellington's Such Sweet Thunder is one of my absolute favorites. That would have been quite a sight. Would have been wild. <laughs> would have been wild. Sure, sure. Play. Yeah. Like, yeah, nothing in the world. What is a masterpiece? From your collection, what 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 is? It's a tough question. I'm putting on you on the spot. But what record would you consider a masterpiece? That one, such sweet thunder. There's really nothing like it in the world, and it's also one of those things where it's like a band like that could. I mean, Duke had a very specific way of picking out his players because he didn't think so much about technique, but more tone. Like if you could use that tone in the chords and, and things he wanted to to make but also that there was the white union and the black sure. musicians union so you had like a whole continent of players who wanted to pass through the eye of the needle into duke's band um so he had the pick of you know like these hordes of genius players and he put together that band that it could never happen again for me, it's uh, the, it's my number one like Desert Island. I would, I would go in the opposite direction and say Slay Rain and Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a masterpiece in its own right. Very, very different. Very, sure. very different approach. But it is probably uh, it's probably the record I listen most to in my entire life, mm. and that still gets Same me man. as exciting, you know, ex as excited as almost when I first heard it, you know. Every time I, I listen to it, I start playing air drums, air guitar, sing along, and then it's I get terrific. all sweaty. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's the beauty of music. That's what music should do, right? Yeah. 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 I mean. So, I mean, that, that's a record that's been with me since I heard it the first time, and I think that's, you know, it's, it's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give us the scoop on some good uh, young Swedish bands we should be looking out for? Have you heard uh, Wild Birds and Peace drums? I haven't. They're it's... not that young anymore. No, no but <laughs> they are, they are a, 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 a strangely well-kept secret they made a record a couple of years ago called rhythm which is absolutely i i could basically guarantee that you will be blown away they're a duo a married couple it's just basically drums and vocals but the drummer andreas he uses a lot of like pads and, and stuff and, and like effects on his like he controls he has a like a microphone in his bass drum with like effects to it that he controls while he's playing it's it's a they're very, very, and and uh, Mariam, um, who sings, has, I mean, she's like a vocal artist besides just being a great singer. So she does a lot. They're they're as a two piece, they do do a lot more uh, than many bands, bigger bands um, can do. They're amazing. I'm gonna say there's a new hardcore band called Leper. It's really great. There's a new noise rock band called Bluedet, which I really like, but I'm also biased. And also the latest record for people to check out is Christian Schelvander, yeah. who's an old friend of ours. And he just did a new record called Doom Country. And exactly that's what it is. It's mm. Doom Country. It's, I saw him live and it was hands down one of the best shows I've seen in years. It's like, yeah, Doom Country, amazing. And he just put out a record called that like two days ago. Fantastic. Um, we're in Canada, obviously. You're well. You're well aware of that, right? Yep. Give us a good Canadian record. Each, each of you, give us a title that or two that you I still enjoy to, to this day. I listened to Suma in its entirety yesterday, backstage. The Neil Young record. Fantastic record. Yeah. yeah. And without being asked, I went through my top five new yes, records. Yes, you with did. You. Yeah. 
because I, I sort had of to endure the top five <laughs> Neil <laughs> conversation <laughs> yesterday. It's a good con. We have a lot of those type of conversations. It's a good conversation. Yeah. So I would say uh, DOA Hardcore 81, yeah. and also I would say a band from from Canada called Pointed Sticks, sure. my favorite power pop yeah. bands. Yeah, they're from here. So that that's some good Canadian punk for you. I'll give you a tiny piece of trivia that Pointed Sticks were in a film. I don't know if it was directed by Dennis Out of Hopper. Blue, oh, with Dennis know. Hopper. Oh, God, of course. You know, I'm trying to like yeah, yeah. impress you. I know, I know, I know stuff. I have the movie. Before <laughs> I can even finish the yeah. sentence. The three W question: Weed, wine, or water to listen to your favorite record, or to be inspired to write a song. Weed, which which of weed. the three? Weed. Are your preference? Well, I, don't, I never use it, but in the past, it's it served me very well, very very well. I'm a sober person, so yeah. I will say water. <laughs> That's one of the most popular answers. answers for we, we talk to rock really? musicians, and it's like it's true. It's about fifty percent say water because it right. helps them focus and yeah, you know, interesting. Yeah, and and backstage, I, I bet you backstage you have pita and hummus and vegetables, yep. right? And tea. Yeah, of course. Am I right? Of course. Tell me that I'm right. We try to stay healthy, you know. <laughs> Blueberries. Blueberries, right. Yeah. right. That's terrific. Guys, thank you again for being on the show. And finally, we like to ask for some words of wisdom. We ask everybody if you can for give what? us some words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. That's interesting. Uh, I, I, uh, I, like in advice, life, a in message general. of love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Message, uh, lessons uh, to live by. Be kind to yourself. I think that's, for me, that's always important because I was I was not kind to myself when I was in my 20s and even my 30s. Yeah. Experience is a terrible teacher. Yeah. That's a Flannery, great line. Flannery O'Connor. It's, um, can't remember what book. But yeah. yeah. That's a fantastic line. It's genius. It's great. Yeah. It's in the booklet of our new record. Yeah. We used it in the booklet. We, we collect quotes because we read and then... We have all these quotes that try to make us look smart. <laughs> no, but when you read something that really helps you, yeah. it just stays in your mind. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mark Henry, the other half of Records in My Life. Love it that you made it to the end of the video. Please leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you really dug the show, we'd love it if you'd consider supporting us over at patreon.com forward slash R-I-M-L-T-V. Cheers and see you next week.